It really just felt like cruel claws and sharp things on your arm. And when it got to the softer parts, it it just it just tickles so much. <laughs> My name is Robin and I'm assisting with the Slither and Slime 3rd and 4th grader camp at Camp Audubon this week. Today we talked about the differences between amphibians and reptiles. So pumpkin seed passed around a little box that had slime gel in it. I want you to think about one word that you could describe either how it feels or what it could be. Slimy! Slimy! So that slime kind of keeps them moist because they've adapted to needing a certain level of moisture. Excellent. I learned that the amphibians are slimy and the reptiles are not. Then we played a game to reinforce the lesson. They had to take little cards and place them in Venn diagrams and sort out what characteristics go with what type of animal. You can slither like a snake, you could hop like a frog, you could crawl like a lizard, but you cannot walk like a human. Got it? Right now we're looking for uh, frogs and um, any kind of reptiles we can find under logs. Mostly found slugs so far, but that's okay because they really like the slither and the slime. They like the squishy stuff. By cracking like this thing right here, like cracking my stick open, and then I found like a really big slug. Someone found some two baby banana slugs. They were yellow and they were like white on the bottom. I do like it here and I'm doing two weeks this time and I'm doing another week in August. The things here were like really incredible because I never thought they would have like slime all over them. I have a lizard. Um, his name is Lizzie. It's a girl. They're very cute. Oh my god. This camp is definitely about real experiences. Um, getting in there, touching everything. All of Camp Audubon's like that. 